Uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to change the thumbnails and the names of our videos. So I just finished uploading this Zoom uh, video from uh, my Monday class. I am right here in Canvas and I'm in Studio. And so now it's just done uploading and so I now I need to make a few adjustments. First, uh, obviously I don't want to just leave it named Zoom Zero. So I'm going to click on this video and under details, I'm going to edit the details. And this was um, our class from Monday. So Monday, March 31st. And this was my MATP 631 class. Um, and so that's just what I'm going to save it as so that it's easy for me to find. Um, then I'm going to go back to my studio. And so now we've changed that. But I still don't like what this thumbnail looks like. So I can change the thumbnail right here by hitting replace thumbnail. Now, it just drops this box and I can pick whatever I want. But I usually like to make it something cute or something that makes it easier to find for my students, as you can see over here. Um, so for this particular one, and the way I think I want to do all these zooms for this course, is to just put the date, the course and the date, as the actual thumbnail. And that way everybody will have quick access to it. So I'm going to open a Word document really fast. Or so it should be fast. And I'm going to just open a blank document. And I'm going to put um, MATP 631 lecture. And that was on March 31, 2020. Um, so then I'm going to make find a cool font that I like, um, maybe this one, sure that looks good, and maybe make it a little bit bigger, and I think I also want to center it, and maybe I'll make it a different color too, because who doesn't like purple, right? So now I have all of this, the information that I want as my thumbnail, and so now um, I'm going to take a screenshot of this, so first I'm going to move my cursor out of the way, and then for my computer, it's Command Shift 4, and that'll give me these, this bullseye looking thing, and I just outline what I want. And it took an automatic picture of it, and it saves it on my desktop. So now I'm going to come back to my, um, my Zoom. I'm going to say Replace Thumbnail. And now remember how I just took that screenshot? Well, here it is on my desktop because that's where my computer automatically saves it. I'm going to hit open. It's going to take a minute. And there we go. All done. Hope this helped.